Hello guys. Today I'm talking about the circuit to um, detect which frequency is very easy to do this. Actually, this is my circuit I downloaded over the Google. So as you can see, this is my detector I see. This is a pre-scholar one. The name is MC hundred twenty eighty D and it's going to with eight ports and this is SMD one. Of course that we need adapter to convert it to the deep one and use it as breadboard. The other transistor that I need to qualify the signal output is BFR 92A. This is also teeny assembly, tiny one, and it needs also some adapter to change it to the real one. And this part is my microcontroller it's at Mega 8, but I'm using the Arduino Uno. And for the test, I'm using this um, radio to check the frequency, as you can see the LCD. When I'm pushing, or scroll, we're pushing the takes, you can see the frequency. I'm changing channel. So this is uh, my breadboard and this is the circuit that I done here and as I told you I'm using Arduino Uno with a uh, color LCD to use the output and uh, use the frequency counter. For this part as you can see by these capacitors the output and the noise going to the minimum one and actually the output of the pre-scholar IC will connect to negative by 3.3 kilo ohm resistor and uh, for the last step this is going to the BFR92 transistor to calculate and send the result to microcontroller this one is uh, at mega 8 and it need oscillator and two capacitor to turn it on and use it as um, as a micro but when you're using the uh, other micros like Arduino Uno or at mega or pro mini no need to do this because of everything is arranged and manage on the board and just need to program so I'm going to the Arduino to exactly check the needed source so the most of code is just to uh, is driver to running the LCD but the important part for the program is only this part as you can see by this function I'm using the variable, the name is swap, and the swap will keep the old uh, value of the thing coming to the analog pin number 5, the thing that I've connected the output of BFR92A to, to this output, and also the variable name that will keep this uh, input from the analog port name is A. And finally, I will divide A by 5. This is the thing for the wheelchair 390 megahertz to 5 megahertz. It's good enough to divide to the 5. And finally, I'm going to print out this over the LCD. This one, I will print line. And also, I have one counter here. To reset the um, 
when number of the input is very big or very small this is not too much important and not too um, it's not necessary to test plan but I will add this to the code and also you can see the other item is the standard TFD graphical source code that needed so the finally everything going here and for the power source I'm using this old uh, laptop battery with these two cable uh, for output and also this um, simple 5 volt um, 12 to 5 volt um, converter so it's very easy connected to the breadboard and also this it have one USB output I'm connected to Uno over the USB and everything looking very well and finally I'm going to check with the remote control you can see when I'm pushing we have the frequency exactly 260 but it is for the for this one is not to um, it, it will not send exact uh, output the reason is the the white number to the five I, t I told you before because of I'm not going to write down any algorithm for this just the thing coming to the analog port divided to the five is a very easy to write down the program is very good for the guys that they don't know programming with the Arduino or the other markers and thanks for watching but the thing that is that we should know by this circuit is the priest color IC can send everything to this transistor the BFR92A and it's very easy to calculate um, UHF, UHF frequencies the thing that used in most of the biggest huge spectrum analyzer oscilloscopes and the other um, analyzers. Thanks for watching and goodbye.